Now that same BTN OK, if I were to run it, for example, all right, well, you notice that all around the edge, I get this kind of blue haze. That means this has focus. What focus means is that if I hit, say, for example, my space bar, it acts like I just clicked on it. So I can do this for a while. I can hold this down and nothing happens. But as soon as I let go, it treats that like a mouse click. Now, one of the things I want to do is, let's say what happens when I hit enter. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Maybe I want something to happen. Maybe I want that same effect to happen as if I hit the space bar. I want it to happen when I hit the enter key. It doesn't. Well, just like with uh, set on action and then set on mouse entered, guess what we can do? We can come back over here and we can continue with that same idea of btn ok dot set on key. Notice what happens when I did key, set on well k. I get three options, set on key pressed, set on key released, and then set on key typed. I'll just do key pressed. Now, again, the same thing that we saw when we were dealing with uh, everything else, when we dealt with our uh, set action event and our mouse event, we have one for, guess what, our key event. And I'll just skip through right to the lambda expression. Where are you? Come on. There we go. Because as you can guess, I can immediately do the same song and dance again that I did in the past. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is because I've called this event, maybe I, you know, I don't want it to happen every time it's pressed. Right now, uh, it'll come on every time, and I don't want that. So let's just see that in action for a second. I run this. Now, I'm going to hit the A key, and you can follow along. Here's the A key, so you can pause and stare at that. I don't want that. I don't want that A S, D, F are keeping track of this. I only want it to happen when I hit the inner key. So what can I do? Well, inside of here, what I can actually do is I can start to utilize that E, that parameter. I haven't done that yet. I haven't really touched on that yet. So what I can do is I can actually come in here and I'm gonna say something like a switch statement. Why a switch? Well, actually, yeah, a switch statement will be fine. Switch. Now, inside of here, I'm going to actually use that event that I just worked on. But you notice when I use the dot notation, I get a few things that appear out of nowhere. Uh, and one of the ones I want to focus in on is this get code. Well, if we read through that description for a second, the key code associated with the key in this key pressed or key released event. Ah, that's pretty nice. It's going to give me the code of whatever I'm dealing with. And well, if we think about sort of the keyboard, we've got a few different codes that we can work off of. One of those, again, a switch statement, if you've forgotten, uh, a switch takes in some variable and then it looks for a case. And for my case, I wanna deal with inner. And now let's take that code and populate it here. And I'll just kind of clean this up a little bit more. So now all of a sudden, only when I hit enter or space will it work. Actually, let's find out. I'm going to hit the space key. Oh, it still works. I'm going to hit the enter key. Oh, look at that. I'm going to hit the backspace. No, I'm going to hit that A key. No. So now all of a sudden I can specify which key actually is going to allow me to work on this. That's pretty nice. You can imagine that I could do this with maybe another one of my cases. So case, I don't know, why not? We'll, we'll do the down key. Uh, down key all of a sudden, that's getting fancy. There we are, I was wondering why it was uh, taking a second. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna hit the up key. I'm gonna hit the left key. I know you guys can't see this. I'm gonna hit the right key. Oh, look at that, it changed focus. So I'm gonna hit the left key again. And now I'm gonna hit the down key. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. 
so I can control my keyboard kind of interaction. So if you think about your video games all of a sudden, when you just arbitrarily hit the W key to move forward, that's a key pressed event.